We want your team coming into the office every day on fire about what they do. And we want them leaving every day feeling productive, not busy, feeling like they made a difference, feeling like they're fulfilled because that's why you do what you do as an insurance professional. Hey, welcome to the Insurance Buzz. We are your host, Michael and Courtney Weaver. And here today, we are talking about your core problem as an insurance agency owner. What is the core problem? Give it to me. The core problem is lack of production. Yeah. Which equates to lack of money. You're not making the money you want. And there's two reasons that you're running into that are causing your lack of production. Two things. Number one is you need more people. Need to hire more people. Number two, option two, Mm -hmm. is that you need to skill up the current people that you have. Yeah, and before we move forward, I know the easy answer is always, we need more, 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 more. We need more people, we need new people. More people, in my experience, is not always the answer to the problem. Typically, I would recommend starting with the current organization, your current team, and skilling them up. But that doesn't mean that you don't need new people or more people, because that is the case sometimes. So what an easy thing to do is to look at your your current staff and to see what the production is. Are they driving the results that you want? That's usually your indicator if you need more people. Now, if you know that they have more potential Mm -hmm. and they're not driving production, that's usually an indication that it's not a lack of people. It's a lack of skill in that person that you need to work on, which brings up the next layer of problems because you're listening to this going, yeah, okay, I either need more people or I need to skill them up. Yeah, Um, I I get it. Yes, it's me. No shit. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I know. I feel it. I understand. But here's the second thing that you're going to run into. And sometimes you self-sabotage because you Mm -hmm. see this coming around the corner. The headache that comes with training, Mm -hmm. the headache that comes with developing the money that comes with that, because it comes down to three things. It comes down to time, money, and skill. What are you willing to give in order to get what you want? What are you willing to invest money? Are you willing to invest time? Or do you have the skill set that it takes to train this person? And that is a skill set that I have rarely seen people have, especially really great leaders and coaches. They don't want to do the day-to-day training. They don't want to do the how-to step-by-step. This is how you have this conversation. This is when you say this. This is what comes next. (laughs) I mean, it's the weeds. A trainer is someone, just an example of the sales conversation, is able to get in and teach the elevator pitch. And here's the objections you're going to get. And this has you form an elevator pitch. And then we move on to the rapport building. And these are the questions you need to ask. And this is why you're asking them. This is what you're trying to find out. Then you're going to move into the pain point, the discovery conversation. And these are the discovery conversations you ask. And when they answer this, you're going to reply with this so we can dig deep so we can listen to the that is a trainer and that is a skill set in itself and quite frankly it takes a ton of time it takes a ton of time and you as the ceo you as the leader you as the visionary of your business most of you don't like it you don't enjoy it you hate it and it takes a ton of time and it's not the best use of your time no And I think this is where... Not when you can outsource it. Right. This is where a lot of leaders will be like, but I should be... You should be refining. You should be coming at the end and really Mm -hmm. just sharpening. Okay, this is what the conversation sounds like. Let's tweak it just a little bit on the back end. Let me hear it in person. Go. Yep. That's what it should be. And be okay with delegating that that part out. Mm -hmm. Unless you love it. Unless you like it. Unless you're like... But that is what I like to do. That is what I am fantastic at. The which is about how to? Which is about 1% of you. Yeah. It's about 1%. The rest of you are like, I hate it. 
That's why I'm not hiring anyone right now. That's why my team is running around a hamster wheel, not hitting their goals. Cause I hate it. I don't like it. I'm not going to make the time to do it. I'd say I'm going to make the time to do it. And guess what? Hmm, something comes up in the morning. We've been there. I've been there. And I love to train. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. But when you're in the day to day operations yep. of an agency, like there's a, you're running a business. You're a CEO. You're the business owner. You're the leader. Yeah. So. Anyways, that's core number problem, time. It's going to take a lot of time. So again, it goes back to the money, time, skill. Mm -hmm. So you may have the skill set. You may not have the skill set to do it. Then you have to say, do I want to devote the time to do it? Or do I want to pay someone to do it? Mm -hmm. And that's the option you get. Those are your options. Like that's what you get to choose as the owner, leader, CEO in your business. Is your time more valuable doing something else? And that's a question that we're asking ourselves all the time as leaders. What is the best use of my time? What is something mm -hmm. that only I can do? What drives results in my business? That's how Weaver Sales Academy was created, was a solution to a problem that we had in our own agency. Michael has the skill set. I do not. I am a coach. I am not a trainer. I'm not a day-to-day as much as you are, you mm -hmm. love it. And you have that skill set that you've honed for years. And I love training in the sales conversation. I don't like training in like the computer systems and, and stuff like that. Like I got to watch my language right now because <laughs> I get fired up. So there is also things that I don't like to do that we hire out. Like yeah. for our team, like we're delegating most of the training except for the sales. Like I do that because I love it just like I love helping you and your team. Other than that, I'm not training anybody in anything. I'm delegating if there's an option to do it because it's so time consuming. It is. And I think there's better people out there to do it than we can do it. Yeah. And it allows us to focus on the things we like. So I think that's important to also talk about. Like, you don't have to train in everything in your business. Like, you don't have to. As a small business owner, I know that sometimes you think you have to do it all. I've been there. You don't have to do it all. Yeah. You don't. There are, there are people out there that want to do it, that love to do it, and they don't actually even charge that much for it. Like you, if you invest with the right person, with the right organization, you will more than my goal is my, as our organization is for you to 10 X your investment. We want you to 10 X your investment and it happens all the freaking time. <laughs> it happens all the time. We've tracked the data over a 12 month period. The average customers 10 X in their investment. So anyways, that's your core problem. I'm getting all fired up right now. High pitch, high pitch voices are coming out of Michael Weaver because I'm getting fired up, fired <laughs> up here. But this, these are all things that we have had to work through. And that's partly why we started the insurance buzz because we've, we've been a part of five, di we've owned five different or businesses and sales organizations. Every business is a sales, sales cures all sales organizations. Every business is a sales organization. And these are all things that we have learned throughout time. And we want to give you like the information I wish as a young business owner, someone would have told me, Michael, yo, you are supposed to grow and scale a business. You need to outsource this to somebody. Yeah. Like this is insane that you were doing this. You love to train in the sales. Sales. Conversation. Yes. Sells, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anyone in my entire life get so fired up about pivots and building rapport and closing techniques and things that are like, okay, tweak this in the conversation. Instead of saying this word, say this word. This is how you, this is the framework. This is the blueprint. This is the methodology. This is what we teach. This is what you need to do every single day. This is how you structure your day. But I'm a nerd because I study all that stuff. Like I study sales. I study the psychology of selling. I study the psychology of learning. Like I, I love that is what I nerd out on. Like I'm a nerd when it comes to that. It's weird, but I love it. And I just so happen to be really good at it. Like humble brag, like you, <laughs> you don't toot your brag. own horn. Nobody else is going to. So I'm really, really good. But what I, what we also want to talk about today is, is if you are in this chair right now, and this is your, this is by far your core problem. We've worked with 10,000 insurance professionals. This is your core problem. You have a lack of production because your current team is not skilled 
or you need or you need to add to the team. Either way, you are going to have to make the decision. Your team needs to be training every single day. That new person you hire is going to take a ton of time to train. And guess what? Your current team also doesn't have the skills necessary to more than likely train in the sales concept. Now, systems, things like that, computer systems is what it is. So you have to make the decision. Are you going to take the time so that you can save the money? Do you think it's a better use of your time to go in and train your current team or train the new hire? Or do you think it's a better use of your money to buy your time back to focus on something else? And that's what you have to do. But the problem is going to remain the problem. Even if you hire in a new person and if they're not trained properly, you think that that fixes your problem? No, that adds to the problem. That adds to the problem. New hires, turnover can cost, what did we just see? The average today is like 16 to 230% of their annual salary. Turnover is your biggest expense. And so that's why I recommend always starting with the current team. Is your current team performing and producing to their max ability? I would actually encourage you on a scale from one to 10 right now. Grade every single person on your team how they're doing and how you think they should be doing. Are they operating at 30%, 50%, 70%? Like where are they operating? Is there room for improvement with your current team? With your current sales team, is there room for improvement? If the answer is no, you need new people. If the answer, Oh, I'm sorry. If the answer is no for performing, you need to skill up. Now, if the answer is, hey, they're performing to their max, then you need new people. Yeah. Okay. What else? I'm just really excited about this because I think that as a leader, there's a lot of time that is spent wondering how you should invest your time, mm -hmm. what your skill set is, what's the best use of your time. And I think that I know that a lack of production creates unnecessary headaches. It creates unnecessary stress. It puts stress on the team. It puts stress on how you show up in your personal life. Your if, relationship, <laughs> everything. Yeah. Financial stress is the number one like reason that people get sick, like they have mental, like physical issues, like everything. It's because of financial stress. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be that way. No. That's why we're in business. We're in business to help you make money. We're in business to help your team perform the best that they can perform. I'd love to work with you and your team. Also, exciting news. So uh -oh. for the first time in five years, we are not keeping up with inflation. Okay. <laughs> so for the first time in five years, we are raising our prices. That's going to happen in the next few weeks. We are sharing this with you because we want to make sure that yeah. you don't miss the boat. If you want to join Weaver Sales Academy, delegate this out, get your time back, take some of the stress off of your plate, let us handle it, which is something that we love to do. We understand. We mm -hmm. have sat in your seat. We know what you are going through. If that's something that you want to take advantage of, reach out to us. We'd love to have a conversation. You can shoot us a DM, 816-727-7610. Again, it's the first time in five years we've ever adjusted our rates. They're going up in the next few weeks don't want you to miss out on this because it truly is something that we are incredibly passionate about. We want to elevate an entire industry. We want to create sales professionals, not product pushers, people that can overcome price, people that are comfortable when rate changes, how to approach the customer, how to sell to that, people that are truly solving the needs, people that are risk advisors, that's what we are creating in our industry. And we want you to be a part of that. So if that's something that you're interested in, please, again, shoot us a text, 816-727-7610. Say that you have questions. Michael and I will reach out. We'll connect with you. You can completely bypass that product if you're process. If you're like, yeah, let's do it. I don't, I don't have any more questions. You already know what I'm going through. You can go to our website, weaversa.com. You can sign up there um, and we'll see you on the other we side. We helped out over 10,000 insurance professionals. We have the blueprint for success. We have a state of an art sales training academy for you specifically, your producers, your team. If you, if you're a, a, an ex-customer, 
we've updated the entire sales Academy It's super dope. It's exciting. The results have been great. You definitely need to check it out. If you had, if you liked it before and most of you loved it before, man, it's like, it's like 10 X what it was. It is awesome. <laughs> I'd love high pitch voice. It's a plug and play. I get so excited. <laughs> it's a plug and play curriculum. So what we did was we broke it down. It includes our 10 day new hire training. It includes our eight week advanced producer training. Mm -hmm. It breaks down product specific. Yep. We teach you how to multi-line, how to have a value-based sales conversation, how to overcome objections and ask for the sale a minimum of three times. We walk through life. We walk through auto. We walk through fire. And it's just not walking through life. We created an entire life insurance training curriculum. We created a closing techniques training curriculum, a pivots training curriculum. Our eight week current tenured team member, on average, 40% increase in auto fire and life production within the first 90 days. Our brand new hire, we have a 90-day training program for them. They're up and selling in less than 10 days and on average by day 90, producing 43 to 45 policies a month. A month, not over the 90 days, a month. Like, yo, it is awesome. And the results are there. Like the data is there. We have over a thousand testimonials. Let's go. What you waiting for? You need to... <laughs> Get a hold of us, 816-727-7610, or just go to weaversa.com, sign up. Let's roll. You got anything else to add to this? No, I'm so excited. Like, this is something that we are so committed to. We genuinely care. We want you to succeed. We want you as the business owner and as the sales professional to really have a career and a life that you are excited about. Mm -hmm. We want you to show up every day and know that you have one of the most noble professions in the world, that it's making a difference and that you're compensated for that. Like it's driving results that you don't have to worry about production, that you don't have to worry about how much your next paycheck is going to be. Like we want you to feel so incredibly confident in the decision that you made to become an insurance mm -hmm. professional, that you're excited about that and that you're li living a life that truly is making an impact impact yeah because that's why so many of you got into this was for impact yeah and everything you just said your team we want your team on fire about it too we want your team coming into the office every day on fire about what they do and we want them leaving every day feeling productive not busy feeling like they made a difference feeling like they're fulfilled because that's why you do what you do as an insurance professional so other than that, we appreciate you. you. Got anything else to add today? No, thank you so much for spending your time with us. As always, time is the most valuable and important asset that we all share. And we appreciate you spending some of that with us. Go out, make it great, friends.